Hey guys, good good evening. Um, sorry about my voice. I'm kind of losing my voice. So you're just going to have to listen closely. Um, today I want you to look at this and I want you to fill in the tables with me as we go along. I want you to find the missing rule for the second table. Uh, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to um, realize that I use blue today. The rule here is multiply times five. So I want you to think of the machine here. It goes in, multiplies times five, and comes out the bottom. So if I take three times five, what is that? Well, if I count by five, five, ten, fifteen, it's going to spit out fifteen. I hope that's the answer you had. Um, if you think now, we're thinking the reverse. It's going to spit out twenty. Think about what times five equals twenty. Well, that would be four. So now you're putting in the number seven. Seven times five. Well, if you count by five, seven times, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. And the last one, you're going to make up your own. Now let's go to the bottom. If you notice here, boys and girls, you're missing the rule here. So, if you look at the over here, I want your eyes right there with me. You've got the number 30 goes in, out comes the number 10. So think about that. 30 goes in, out comes 10. That's a difference of, I think it would be minus 20 down here. So if we think about the rule, minus 20, but if you look over here, you've got 21 and 7. I don't necessarily think minus 20 would work, would it? So you have to really be close and look down here to make sure that that same rule applies. So now I'm going to get my eraser, and I'm going to erase this because it isn't minus 20, boys and girls. Even though minus 20 here, you notice this rule here, it didn't ma did not match. So I'll grab my pen again. I'll use red this time. So look at this, 21 and 7. I think it would be, what do you think that answer would be? I think it would be divided by 3 is my rule. If I put 30 in, divide it by 3, I get 10. So what goes in here? Well, if I have 18 divided by 3, I end up with 6. 21 divided by 3 is 7. So now I'm going to make up my own. So what number could I put here? Well, if you think about, let's put the number, uh, let's put, let's put 60 in here. 60 divided by 3. Well, think about that. 60 goes in, break 60 up into th three parts. Look, 20, 20, 20. I think the answer would be, 20. Good job. Let's move on. So I want you to look at these. We're familiar with fact triangles. <coughs> I want you to look at this fact triangle and uh, in your head I want you to be answering this with me. Uh, you have 8 eight and 6 here. So let's just start with 8 and 6, the two lower numbers. So 8 times 6 is what? What is 8 times 6? How many of you know that answer? If you know it, say it. I believe 8 times 6 is 48. So let's do 6 times 8. Now, what number goes here? Put 48 there. Always start with the big number when you're dividing. 6 equals 8. Divide by 8 equals 6. Great. Let's move on here. You have 63 as a number here on the big numbers. So we could start with that one. 63 divided by 9 equals... Well, think about that. What times 9 is 63? That would be 7, right? So let's start again. 63 divided by 7 equals 9. Excellent. And then 9 times 7 equals 63. And 7 times 9 equals 63. Good job.